In this updated tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to give you some tips for managing opacity when you're working with a video image or a still image right on your timeline. We normally control opacity by using keyframes, and this does use keyframes but in a visual sense, so you do not have to go into your PIP designer in order to do that. We have on the screen a picture of a combine. As it goes into the distance, it's combining towards some wind turbines. And so let's assume we want to point out one of them by using a graphic. I'm going to stop this and take my little arrow, my green arrow, drag to track number two, and now I have my image. We'll take it and make it somewhat smaller and I'll change the location of it and now I have it pointing toward this wind turbine. If I want to change the opacity of it, how do I do that? Well when I click on it, I will see a green line at the top. Now on some displays it's hard to see, but what I do next is I hold the control key down and then when I move the mouse near the line, I see an arrow with a small black box. I left click on the mouse and that will actually set a keyframe. I can take that keyframe once it's set and the arrow will turn in, into something red and I can drag it to the left or to the right, change the time of it, and then I can also change the degree of opacity and I see the number right by the red dot. And I can take another one here. I have to hold control down if it's a new one and another one over here next to that and then we'll raise the opacity back up to normal. And let's move this other one over. So this is the way in which you can change opacity on the fly on your timeline for a graphic image or a video. I'm going to move the time indicator closer and we'll watch the arrow fade down and then it will get brighter again. There it fades and it didn't take long. Let me fade it all the way down now to uh, fully transparent so you can see the difference. Oh, I can't move until I move the other one. Okay, that's a good thing to know. All right, and now it will play and turn, tr turn transparent. There it disappears and then it comes back again. This is a way to set keyframes using this tool. Now you can use it on a video image or on a still image. If I click on the video, I have the same green line and I can uh, use the same technique with the control key and drop as many keyframes as I want to on the green line. And then I can adjust them any way I prefer uh, to change the opacity of the video as well. Now what if you are working in your clip and you decide, I want to start all over. One way to do it is to take each of the dots and when you hover over it, you get the red ball, drag it up off the track and when you do, you'll see the garbage can. When you let go, it will delete that keyframe. Now we, we, here we'd have to do that four more times. An easier way is to right click and when you're on a video, click Edit Video, and then you have Restore to Original Opacity Level, and that will reset it. It's similar when you're working with a still image. I right-click here, and I click Edit Image, and the last option is Restore to Original Opacity. Now, there are versions of PowerDirector when you click on the clip and you try to hold the Control key down, and get the black box that I have found it doesn't always work as well as I want to. Here's a tip if you run into that kind of situation. Double click on my image or my graphic and then with my time indicator all to the way to the left I, I set an opacity value. Now it's a hundred percent so I have not changed anything at all but I find in some versions of PowerDirector when I do that and I get this one uh, indicator on the very left side of the screen that for some reason it makes it easier for my mouse to find the green line and set others when I hold the control key down. So that might be something you might want to consider in certain circumstances. And again if you want absolute precision on this you can double click anytime, go into your PIP designer 
Let's do that right now. And then here we have our keyframes. Uh, we have the opacity values. We can click on any of them and control them precisely if we want to change them in terms of percentage and uh, modify them all we want to using the slider or typing in a percentage, anything we want. And we go back to the original screen and we'll see the variations in that on the green line in the timeline. So you can use both of these tools together, but if you want to be very quick and simple, add some modest opacity variations in either a video clip or a still image, the, the green opacity line is a nice thing to use in CyberLink PowerDirector.